Anthony chapter 7. Mm -hmm. Now when the Pharisees gathered to him mm -hmm. with some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem, they saw that some of his disciples ate with hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. Mm. For, now we have this long parenthetical, but for the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands, holding to the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash. Mm. And there are many other traditions that they observe, mm -hmm. such as the washing of cups and pots mm -hmm. and copper vessels and dining couches. Okay. Yeah. You know, these are amazing things. Yes. That is quite a long parenthetical, don't you think? Yes, it is. <laughs> but we've got yes. a lot of information yes. there. Yes. And uh, the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders? Mm -hmm. But eat with defiled hands. And he said to them, well did Isaiah prophesy mm. of you hypocrites, mm. as, is, as it is written. This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Yes. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines, sort of teaching as teachings, yes. <laughs> again, yes. teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Mm -hmm. Wow. You who leave the commandment of God and hold to the tradition of men. Mm. My goodness. Mm. Verse 9. And he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting. Uh, that is amazing. Mm. You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of mm. God in order to establish your tradition. Mm. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever reviles father or mother must surely die. Verse 11. But you say, If a man tells his father or his mother, Whatever you would have gained from me is Corbin, mm. that is given to God. Mm -hmm. Then you no longer permit him to do anything for his father mm -hmm. and mother, mm -hmm. thus making void the word of God by your tradition mm -hmm. that you've handed down. And many such things you do. Mm. <laughs> yes. So, wow, he's taking them to task, isn't he? Yes, absolutely. You know, that's interesting. I think, once again, Jesus is putting the word first. Here's these these folks, these Pharisees and certain scribes. They come all the way down from Jerusalem. Yes. They're going to come down and, and see him and talk to him and check him out. Yes. And you would think he would have been want, wanted to be very careful. Yes. Well, we don't want to offend these guys because, you know, this is great. <laughs> we'll get them on our side yes. here. But instead... He's starting in on them right off the bat. Mm. You know, you guys are hypocritical mm. with this stuff. Mm. This is wrong. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he takes them to task. Isn't that interesting? It is, yes. Which is a very loving thing to do. He yeah. wants them to get it right for yeah. their own sakes. And, of course, this is very much uh, possibly true of church today. I, I customarily ask some of my friends what they mean when they recite the creed by saying they believe in the Son who is begotten, not made. I say, what does that mean? <laughs> begotten, not made. Most of them say, I have no idea. <laughs> but you're saying it before God and man every Sunday in the Methodist church, for example. Isn't that dangerous, though, to be muttering words to which you can assign no recognizable meaning? Exactly. But you state it as your creed in front of man, in front of God. That's very dangerous on the teaching of Jesus here, who rebukes that mindless groupthink recitation of creeds. The Pharisees, of course, were the evangelical fundamentalists of the day, so to speak. They weren't the liberals. The Sadducees were the more liberals, we would call them today. They didn't even believe in the resurrection. The Pharisees certainly did. So the active theology of Jesus would have been closer to the Pharisees Mm. It was the Sadducees. Yes, yes. Jesus right. was a Bible believing person, clearly. But he rebukes tradition of all sorts in yes. religion. Yes, yes. Wow. Very dangerous. Uh, but very direct, very to the point. Absolutely. And uh, uh, Jesus put mm. the issue of the possible uh, offending yes. of these folks. Yes. He puts that secondary to making sure the word does get spoken. Yes. And 
Mm-hmm. I, I think it mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, he becomes our pattern in yes. that. And we should always put the word first. Oh, absolutely. Word first. Yes. That's uh, very critical. Yes. And these people are doing this mistakenly. They're doing something they think is good to do for God, Corbin. I'm giving this money as Corbin, as a gift. Right. Yes, but in so doing, you're breaking the greater commandment, which is you should be honoring your parents. Exactly. So it's clever. You're doing it in the name of right. religion, and right. you're still getting it wrong. Right. He's a and critical Of course, they're critics of him, aren't they? They always come along uh, to point a finger of at him. Course. But, uh, and he points a finger at them. He's, he's most capable of defending himself and yes. of pointing out the real truth. Yes. I love it the way Jesus yes. just cuts through all the nonsense he does. and gets right to the heart of, of, yes. of, the, uh, of the man. Yes. So, so the Corbin thing is yes. interesting yes. and uh, oh, the washing of all the cups yes. and pots and yes. vessels. and They had just actually just gone way overboard in all those matters and made, turned them into religious issues, yes. which they need yes. not have been. Yes. And uh, and then the Corbin thing, mm. uh, Jesus shows that that's actually you're using that tradition, yes. the Corbin. Oh, I gave what yes. what should have been yours, that's mom and right. dad. Uh, yes. What I would have been using yes. to take care of you and help you, perhaps yes. in your elderly age, yes. age yes. or whatever. Now I've given all that to yes. God, so yes. sorry about that. But you still broke the commandment. You've actually broken the commandment that, uh, that exactly. we should yeah. honor our fathers and mothers. Then, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Today, then the arguments about lengths of sleeves or width of mustache. Ah, yes. We haven't escaped that. If I can just touch the right holy water or the yeah. touch the right statute. Yeah. So that's our human tendency. Yes. Is to get this wrong. Absolutely. That's right. Wow. But uh, I think. Uh, Every every Christian should go back and read these mm. words and the example mm. that is given here. Mm. You can't go God one better, <laughs> you know. And I think a lot of what right. we might call holiness yes. in our yes. day and time, Christians, yes. we're going to be really super duper holy, yes. as yes. you mentioned about yes. mustaches yes. and the length yes. of our sleeves. Yes. We're going to do all this stuff. Yes. You can't go one God, uh, go one, one better God. on God. You've got right. to. Yeah. Uh, you can't do it. No. And uh, no. No. In, 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 in the process of that, they yes. wind up placing on people greater yes. burdens and responsibilities yes. than sometimes they're yes. able to bear. Burdens. Yeah, indeed. especially younger right. people sometimes. Yes. We'll put these things on yes. them. If they love yes. God, they won't mind. Yes. Well, actually, if you love God and love those people, yes. you wouldn't put any burden on them. That's right. That is not actually according yes. to the Word of God, and the direction mm-hmm. of God. Wow. Verse 14. And he called the people to him again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going into him can defile him. But the things that come out of a person are what defile him. Mm -hmm. And when he had entered the house and left the people, his Disciples asked him about the parable, mm-hmm. that parable. Yes. What, what, was, what was that? What are you saying what here? What's your, this what about? What was your point here yeah. in that parable? Verse 18. Mm-hmm. And he said to them, Then are you also without understanding? Mm-hmm. Come on, guys, can't you get this? Yes. Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside mm-hmm. cannot defile him, mm-hmm. since it enters not his heart, mm-hmm. but his stomach, mm-hmm. and is expelled? Thus he declared all foods yes. clean. And that is radical. Wow, that's radical. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I love that. And he and it couldn't, uh, that's Mark's comment Probably then Mark's on the matter. Yeah, I don't think they grasped that. Maybe they time. didn't quite get it at the moment. So but, it's a Mark but, and comment. But by the time yes. Mark wrote this, it was yes. very clear. Yes. And I love, and he, you know, it makes no sense to say, oh, yes, he declared all clean foods clean. Well, <laughs> they're no, already no. clean, and no, everybody no, knew no, that. No. But he's declared no. all foods clean, which That's means right. those that would have been clean yes. already and those that they might have considered That's unclean. Right. This is but right. he declared all foods clean. Yes. If we believe Jesus, we have to believe yes. that. Yeah. But he's referring then to the laws of purity in food, Leviticus yes, 11, of course. 14, I think. Paul then confirms this absolutely, if anybody has any doubt at all. Romans 14, verse 14, Paul is talking about foods. And he says, I, and he's speaking of himself, who was a Pharisee originally. Yes. 
who was a Christian and an apostle and a Jew, right. I am convinced, Paul says, that nothing is unclean of itself. And he's talking about foods. Right. Nothing is unclean of itself, unless you think it is. If you're weak, if your conscience right. is weak, then don't touch it. Then to you it's unclean. Yes. Um, and if you have you a problem it, here, That's not Leviticus 11. It doesn't say, well, if you feel like it, you can obey these laws. <laughs> that's right. And then Paul goes on the 20th verse of Romans 14. He said, all foods are clean. Katharos in Greek. It's the very opposite word of unclean in yes. the food laws. If that isn't a blatant statement that the food laws are not binding, I don't Absolutely. know what could be. Yeah, we have to accept the words of Jesus yes. and what Mark brings to yes. us here. Otherwise, am I going to disregard his words? Jesus said this, right. thus by his yes. words, declaring yes. all foods clean. That's right. The King James I have to accept that. Right. King James or, doesn't get it right. Or else yeah. I've got to yes. reject the yes. words of Jesus. Well, that's right. Yeah. And yeah. then if you do choose to reject these words, Paul then comes in even more, more exactly. strongly. Exactly. If you're weak, if you're still trying to keep the food laws, don't do it. Yes. Nothing is unclean of itself, yeah. unless you think it is. And then, All and then your foods are clean. And then in your mind, unfortunately, yes. Yes. You, you've got an ethical problem then, but it's one you're creating yes. by imagining yes. that something's unclean. You're pulling yourself wow. back under the old covenant and automatically away from the yeah. new covenant. Yeah. That is very dangerous. Yeah, You're actually exactly. giving up the faith right. in the name of obedience. Of Just like they were giving that korban yes. in the wrong direction. Exactly. God said, you give it to your parents. Right. They say, oh no, I'm, I'm better than that. That's I'm going right. to give it to God. That's so. right. <laughs> the, uh, right. But I like this. And then Paul, again, we see here, he is receiving in Romans 14, mm. he's giving them, the Romans, yes. what he received of the Lord, yes. actually, because the Lord first said it. Absolutely. Got all it. things yes. were declared, right. un, yes. all foods were declared clean. Yes. yes. And Paul is coming along and Paul saying, God. hey, that's the way it is. That's right. I like that a lot. Also in Colossians on the Sabbath, uh, the calendar is a threefold thing. It's a weekly Sabbath, a monthly observation, and an annual festival. Right. He counts that as one single shadow. Yes. So if you're going to insist on the weekly Sabbath, you automatically must insist on the annual Sabbath and the monthly new moons. It's a single thing. Yes. But Paul then dismisses the whole thing as a shadow exactly. compared with the body of Christ, the risen Christ, who is your Sabbath, he's your Passover, he's your new moon. He's all of it. All yeah, of it. He is it. That's no exactly way right. around that, but people have labored yeah. to preserve... Then they say, well, it's in the Ten Commandments. I get that. <laughs> yeah. But that's the law of Moses, and the Sabbath is the sign of the Old Covenant. Exactly. If you really want to insist on, on that, then you're still stuck in the Old Testament. You haven't accepted Jesus yet, really. That's right. You're, you're still just stuck in, a, stuck in, an in the wrong middle. covenant. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. That's uh, Romans 14, 14 and 20, yeah. and Colossians 2, 16 and 17. There's another twisted way of trying to get rid of that, by the way. <coughs> Some people say in Colossians 2, don't let anybody judge you, but let the church of God judge you. <laughs> that's nonsense, too. Yes, that's, that's just playing word games. Playing, it playing makes no words, sense. Right. So we know Paul was on track on these matters, oh, very much so. Totally. But apostle. we also know that yeah. actually this is drawn from yeah. the Lord. Jesus, yes. Jesus is the Goes one who is so... Shockingly yes, saying shocking. all foods are clean. That's right. Now I gotta believe Jesus yes, and move on. Yes. Or else I'm stuck yes, not yes. believing Jesus. That's right. And, and that's the, dangerous. Yeah, that's to reject the faith, that's to be a well, non Christian. Exactly. To refuse the words of Jesus and exactly. Paul, who is the apostle, yeah. who is a Jew and a Pharisee originally, mm -hmm. and now a Christian leader. It doesn't get any clearer than that. Colossians two is 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 completely impossible for the obligatory Sabbath keeper. Yes. Paul condemns that. Yes, absolutely. Isn't that amazing? That is radical. There's a famous one there in Galatians. He says, if you get circumcised physically, don't do it. Mm -hmm. If you do insist on it, then you are obliged to keep that whole law. So you say to your friends, what is this whole law which you <laughs> should not keep? Should not be keeping. That's right. So, uh, that's, that's so it's very clear. Uh, Paul is telling us in uh, Galatians 5 yes, yes. that we're not going to do this uh, circumcision business. Yes. And he's very clear about that. He is very clear in Romans 14 mm. that all yes. things are clean. 
Okay, that's wonderful. Radical things. But all of this is drawn, too, from Jesus, yes. who is bringing in this entire radical change, right. if you will, in covenants. That's right. Moses was great, thankful for him, glad for what he did. Yes. But he was just prepping the way yes. for covenant, the coming of right. the Messiah. And yes. that was laying some groundwork for the coming of Messiah. But yes. when Messiah comes... Yes. He brings an entirely wonderful, yes. powerful yes. new covenant. In the Spirit, right? The one that God really intended yes. all along. Yes, of course. Moses right. was filling in the, the yes. meantime time there, which it was, was great. The law was given for yeah. a time. That's right. As, as a schoolmaster exactly. to lead us to Christ, but now we're not under that schoolmaster. Exactly. We mentioned, I think, yesterday, Dan, that Second Corinthians 3, wasn't it? Oh, yes. But the glory of Moses, referring to the Ten Commandments, exactly. would you Exactly. That's gone. Exactly. The glory of Moses is nothing that's right. compared with the compared glory to of the, the That's right. So if you want to insist on the Sabbath as a weekly oblig obligation, right. well, I get it. But the glory of Moses, guess what, is passé. Yes. That event is over. Yeah. Don't go back into the wrong covenant in the name of religion. Exactly. Getting you nowhere at all. You'll be in hopeless confusion yes. from that day forward. Yes. And you're running the risk then of yes. not believing Jesus. That's correct. Not you're believing disobeying his Jesus. Yeah. Oh, but you said it's in the Ten Commandments. I get that. That's the Old Covenant. Yeah. And uh, occasionally you hear of this, unfortunately, as well. Well, someone actually abandoned Christ in order to pursue Moses. Yes, they do. Oh, my goodness. How upside That's down is that? That's apostasy. That's giving up on the new Certainly. covenant. That's right. Is saying, well, I prefer Moses over Jesus. Yeah. That's a fatal error. Oh, actually. my land, Jim. Wow. Very dangerous. Yes. Verse 20 then, uh, and he said, what comes out of a person is what defiles him mm -hmm. for from within, mm -hmm. out of the heart of man, mm -hmm. comes evil mm -hmm. thoughts. Mm -hmm. Sexual immorality, yes. theft, murder, adultery. Um, verse 22, coveting, mm -hmm. wickedness, mm -hmm. deceit, mm -hmm. sensuality, mm -hmm. envy, slander, mm -hmm. pride, mm -hmm. foolishness. Mm -hmm. All these evil things come from within. A wicked heart. Of man. And they defile yes. a man. But not what goes into him. Yes, isn't that, isn't that very something? Very radical decision. Yeah. Yeah. And I love Mark's clarifying comment yes. a, a moment ago. He, he doesn't leave it for you to wonder. No. He says, oh no, he declared that. That's right. When de in doing so, he declared all With the foods food. clean. How, you couldn't have yes. anything more Even specific. though they didn't get it clear at that time. Yeah. I don't think they, they fully... They probably didn't quite right. fully no. grasp it. it no. This is at the time he's writing that's it. He's right. saying, that's what Jesus did. He declared all foods clean. We now understand yes. what we didn't. And Peter then, of course, failed in that area. Later on, Paul yeah. had to rebuke him for insisting on that's the right. old law that's when that was that's passé. Right. That's right. So it did take, and I understand that because there's yeah. a deeply entrenched tradition. Surely, surely. And uh, we don't know to what extent they were yeah. trying to placate the Jews Yes. Uh, and try to uh, uh, be at peace with the, with the Jews yeah. and the Jewish people. There was a lot of confusion. Absolutely. But but my, there's no need for us to be confused. No. At, no. And uh, that's right. This is all directly before right. us. Why be under the schoolmaster when that is no longer necessary? Exactly. It was good training for that time, if you like. But now we are not. I love the, the text in First Corinthians nine, where Paul says, "To a Jew, I'll be a Jew. Yeah, if there that's going to help. That's right. And to a Gentile, I'll be a Gentile. That's right." And then Paul says of himself, I'm not under the law, though I'm within the Torah of Messiah. Of Messiah. Yes, so the very, Torah of Messiah is right. not the same as the Torah of Moses. That's right. Very clear. That's right. Well, and when Paul says in Galatians 5 and otherwise that, you know, the whole law is yes. fulfilled yes. in this word. You, yes. You're interested in that? Well, it all gets fulfilled in this word. Love your neighbors. Love fulfill is the fulfillment of the law. And then look at what Jesus is saying mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. It's out of the, mm -hmm. the uh, uh, from within a man, yes. out yes. of the heart of a man, yes. come evil thoughts, of course. sexual right. immorality, theft, yes. murder, yes. adultery, coveting, yes. wickedness, mm -hmm. deceit, yes. all these things. All these evil things yes. come from within. Yes. Come from within the yes. heart of man. So let's get our hearts right. Yes. All of that, you know. Uh, is no longer a, a problem or issue. in the letter is passed exactly it's now in the spirit so we've moved from just don't commit adultery don't even be lusting continuously yes yes we've moved from the the letter to the spirit yes that should be clear to people but yes. it's not in many cases yeah. whole it's denominations get this wrong yeah 
That's a burden. And it's terribly unfortunate. Yes, yeah, so this is the text in Hebrews which says that there was a necessity for a change in the Torah. <laughs> yes, yes. How can you change the Torah? You can, because the new covenant <laughs> yeah, mandates right. That's that. right. Uh, the, uh, no man could just decide no. to change the Torah. No. But the God who gave the Torah to Moses yes. is the one who has the authority to yes. give a new Torah, yes. a new program yes. to the Messiah. And we yes. want to talk about changes then, yeah. God can change because it. the priesthood had, co- had to be for the Levites. Exactly. Guess what? Jesus was not a Levite. Uh-huh. <laughs> therefore, therefore, there was a necessary change in Torah. That's a, a exactly. Hebrews text. Yes, yes. Are, are you I getting it. with it? Or are you still you know, maintaining yeah. Moses at all costs and the letter? If you are, you're denying the faith. Oh, my land, yes. Very sad. That's very right. bad. Wow. Okay, uh, now we're talking about this uh, Syrophoenician lady. Yes. Exactly. This is a non-Jewish person right. that Jesus is dealing with. That's and right. doesn't this pretend, portend yes. or foresee mm. the coming of God's work in Christ yes. with the Gentiles? Of people, course I it think. does. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we see that. Yes. Absolutely. So, it's a very touching and moving story, mm. this one you're about to read. Alright. Yeah. Yes. All right, in verse 24, and from there he arose Mm -hmm. and went away to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and he entered a house and did not want anyone to know, yet he could not be hidden. Mm -hmm. This this is really an interesting story, isn't it? The the development of these things. I would think not. Yeah. So he's going to get into the house. He's going to have a little time to himself. Yes. And uh, we hope. And but it doesn't work out. It doesn't matter. They're they're still yes. catching up to him. Yes, yes. Verse twenty five. But yes. immediately a woman whose little daughter mm. had an unclean mm. spirit heard of him. Yes. And came and fell down yes. at his feet. Yes. Now the woman was a Gentile, a Syrophoenician by Absolutely. birth, Nothing and true. she begged him yes. to cast the demon out yes. of her daughter. Yes. And he said to her, "Let the children be fed first. For it is not right to take the yes. children's bread and throw it to the dogs. Yes. But yes. she answered, Yes, Lord, even, yet even the dogs under the table eat the children's mm-hmm. crumbs. Mm-hmm. And he said to her, For this statement, you may go your way. Mm. The demon has left mm. your daughter. Mm. And she went home and found the child lying in bed mm. and the demon gone. Yeah, Isn't that something? She argued Jesus into this. Isn't she did, wonderful? didn't she? Uh, I love it. Uh, yeah. That's tremendous. It's, it's amazing. So you can plead. Abraham pleaded with God. You know, Indeed. Don't destroy the city. Indeed. And God listened to his own That's creatures, right. his own creation, yeah. and was persuaded by Abraham. Yeah. In this case, persuaded by a Gentile who was seen as a dog, you see, by the Jews. Yeah. They didn't want to have any association with Gentiles. They yeah. might become contaminated. Wow. But she argued him into it. Wow. That's beautiful. Well, you know, it's interesting, too, the, the actionable yeah. thing in the eyes of God and the work of God yes. here is her words. Yes. For this statement, yes. because of this statement, yes. your daughter is, is, yes. is whole. She, it's wonderful. wonderful. I love that. That must have been so, a, uh, a torturing disease. You've yes. this little girl oh, my land, yes. who goes into fits and screams yeah. and yells yeah. and whatever. Yeah. And she's completely healed yeah. based on her faith. Mm. And God's kindness to Isn't that wonderful? I love it. And Jesus' yeah. kindness. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yes. uh, some people uh, take Jesus to task in their mm. minds over his mm. uh, not his wanting racism. to heal yes. this and because yes. of his referring to yes. to the dogs. But yeah. I don't know that it was so uh, quite that way. He, This dear woman comes. I think he may have pushed her and made a little point. Now, yeah. you know, the mm. things I'm doing here really are for my people, the Jews, right. that's what this is yes. all about. And still she pressed in her faith. Yes. Wasn't that wonderful? Yes, I love beautiful. that. Yes. And uh, and then the dogs, uh, the yes. dogs he's picturing, I don't think are like wild dogs no. or that, something like no, that. Not, he's he's talking about the mm. maybe the little the yeah, pups that of are in the house yeah. or household pets. They get and, the crumbs. Yeah, they, they, even they get the crumbs. That evening. Hey, this was beautiful. It's very beautiful. Jesus yes. was impressed, wasn't he? Yes. He I loved it. It's a lesson of prayer yeah. here. That when you're praying, you're not just praying to a piece of concrete that yeah. cannot be moved. Yeah. This is uh, this is tremendous. It's tremendous because of this yes. this statement. Yes. What you said. Yes, that is the cause. Uh, mm. Your your mm. daughter, mm. she's okay. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. I love it. Marvelous. And it does, I think, still for 
for show mm. uh, God's yes. bringing this new covenant Absolutely. to the Gentiles. Right. And God blessed this Gentile woman, mm-hmm. but without her conversion to to the Jewish faith. Yes. So this That's blessing, right. it's kind of it's kind of an amazing thing here because the blessing to her, mm-hmm. the blessing to her child, mm-hmm. these things are yes. happening, but yeah, without yeah. conversion, without yes. her becoming a proselyte yes. and becoming right. a Jewish uh, person. Yes. But it's to her and now yeah. to all who are Gentiles. Yes. The same blessing. Comes and uh, there's but progress without in conversion. faith, there, isn't there? Yeah. The text in John which says, There are many things I have yet to tell you, you cannot bear it right now. But through Paul and later revelation, then we get even greater clarity on this. Yes, one. yes. So, as you said rightly, this anticipates the fullness of the new covenant. This wow. event, mm-hmm. very striking. Yeah, it's lovely, and I like that a lot. Mm. Uh, and maybe that's the sense too. Uh, Jesus in John ten saying, "Other sheep I have, yes, which are not of, of this course. particular fold." Yes. And uh, so they might have thought, "Well, he's talking about those among yeah. the, in the diaspora, yes. Yes. those that are out among yes. the nations, yeah, the them. Jews." Yeah. But I think it extends beyond that. And Absolutely. He knew that yes. Gentiles were going to believe in God yes. through him, and that's yes. a tremendous. And Paul is the great uh, agent of that. Oh, my land, yes. Isn't it? yes. I mean, Again, Paul didn't invent these things. No, no. He got them through Jesus. That's from right. Jesus. Apostle yeah. Jesus, right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But so the lesson then for everybody listening today is make sure you're not trying to mix the old covenant with the new and that's ruining your relationship with God in the new covenant by simply misunderstanding the new covenant in relation to the old. Yes, yes. If you get circumcised, Paul says there in Galatians 5, if you do it, don't do it. Do not be physically circumcised. If you do it for medical reasons, that's fine. You know, that's nothing to do with it. But if you're doing physical circumcision, even if you're a Jew, you are actually getting it wrong. You're discarding the new covenant. You're not actually a Christian. Because if you get circumcised, don't do it. This is Galatians chapter 5, verse 2. Then you're going to be obliged to keep all the laws yes, that yes, go with goodness, circumcision. Yes. Don't do it. There's a command from Jesus there, through Paul, not to get physically circumcised. Yeah, Amazing. exactly. Oh, people say, well, I'm doing it not because I have to, but for obedience or something. That's just wrong. Or they say, I'm not doing it for salvation. Well, what are you doing it for then? Mm. You're doing it, in fact, for loss of salvation. Of course. On and you're, you're muddying the waters yes. Yes. for others who may be observing you. You say, well, exactly. I don't know. I just like to do it. That's right. But then there are others who will come along, see you doing that, and they'll think it's they're normal. supposed to do this That's and right. they must do it. You create a stumbling block. Yeah, you've created a stumbling block. Oh, your potential block. Sure. Convert. My If goodness. they watch you keeping the new moon, you go on gazing at the moon once a month, what sort of a witness is that to the sure. children trying to? It's Absolutely. a very bad witness. Absolutely, misrepresents. So on the one the hand, you will uh, some will go away saying this is nuts. Yes, I don't yes, get right. it. And then others, right. although may be attracted, and say, mm. "Oh, I have to keep this new yes, moon yes, business." Yes. And you, while you're saying, you "I just it. like to do it," well, you've encouraged yes, you some to go away, Stumbling and you've encouraged others to very actually right. subscribe to these, uh, these matters of the law and for them it's going to become a matter of life Absolutely. and death. So don't do it. Don't, don't do go it. there. Don't use yes. the lame excuse, I like to yes. do that. Yes. What in the world do you mean? Yes. Come on, all things are clean, all foods yes. are clean. Yes. Don't, don't go there. Don't go. What are you doing? Yes. You know, just, uh, you're, you're hurting the cause. Yes. You're hurting the cause of Christ. You're also dividing the church. Absolutely. Mark, and Paul says in one place, yeah. mark those who cause divisions, mm-hmm. who insist on Sabbath keeping, yes, yes. insist on keeping the Feast of Tabernacle or whatever. Those are people dividing and disturbing the church. We don't want to go there. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's interesting to note too, Anthony, that, mm. that Peter, when he's writing in his letters, 
he doesn't say that Paul was wrong. He, he was familiar with Paul's writings. Yes. He's, he's read, obviously, yeah. the writings of Paul. Mm. He knows what Paul's saying yes. about the law. Yes. He never says, now, Paul is just wrong about this business about the law. Don't mm. believe him on that. Mm. No. no, he says he writes many wonderful yes. and amazing things, yes. some very deep, sometimes a little difficult, difficult to get a handle on, but, but it's great right. stuff. That's it's right. No. Yeah. So they're reconciled. Although Paul had to rebuke Peter publicly, Yeah. Eventually, they were obviously reconciled, reconciled. because our beloved brother Paul, right. whose wisdom is right. obvious, but he does write some things which the unstable, the amateurs, mm -hmm. the limited and understanding, mm -hmm. twist exactly. as they do the rest of the Bible exactly. to their own, yes, excuse yes. me, destruction. So if you twist the scriptures, you're destroying yourself. Yeah. So remember then that Peter is endorsing Paul, even though he knows Paul's positions yes. on these yes. issues about the law. Right. And that endorsement's wonderful. So if you're going to throw Paul out, you're going to have to throw Peter out as yes. well. And after a while, you've got nobody left. Come on. This, because I've run into cases where people yes. say, oh, I don't believe Paul. We, we no, don't, no. We're going to take his word. No, yeah. Peter did. Yes. yes. So now you're going to throw Peter out That's as right. well. And everyone else. And Jesus believed in Paul, too. He Absolutely. pointed as an apostle. Exactly. So you throw out Paul, yeah. you're throwing out Jesus. Well, and Luke, of course, subscribed to Paul. Of course. So you're going to have to throw out all of Luke's writings. Really this is a terrible it's, idea. It's We're terrible. going to throw out Paul and keep everybody else. doesn't work that okay. way. They didn't throw out Paul. No. They endorsed him and stood no. by him. Yeah. So, eh. You, know. yeah, you can't have a, a, a Christian who says, I love what Jesus teaches, but I don't like what Paul does. Right. Mm-hmm. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went through Sidon to the Sea of Galilee and the region of the Decapolis. Mm. They brought to him a man who was deaf. Mm. By the way, he had been over there before. Remember the, the story yeah. about the fellow and the pigs and all that? Yes, business? Uh, yes. And, uh, right. That was over there in the, was, in the area of the yeah, Decapolis. Tyre, yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah, all that. Mm -hmm. And they brought him a man who was deaf mm. and had a speech impediment, mm. and they begged him. Mm. To lay his hand on them. And taking him aside from the crowd privately, he put his fingers into his ears, and after spitting, touched his tongue. Verse 34, And looking up to heaven, he sighed, mm. and said to him, mm. Epapha, mm. that is, be, be opened. opened yes. so now they remember they remember this moment. That they Isn't that lovely? Yeah, like you say, that gives them yes. a real... A, a real a tinge of real, yes. and this is the oh. real moment. Yeah. They remember that the mother tongue of Jesus was yes, in yes. Aramaic. I like that. Hebrew in the synagogue. Yes. Greek when he went shopping. Yes, yes. You had to yes. have Greek. They were trilingual in those days. Yeah. That's not a problem for people yeah. even in Europe yeah. today. We're not good at that in, yeah. in England and in America yeah. at all. They, he's uh, trilingual. That's, that's right. And they had, uh, of course, uh, Latin was in the yes, area as well was, because yes. the Romans yes how and, much uh, they knew that and so when it. they did when uh, yeah. when they determined when Pilate determined mm. put the yes, the statement put over Jesus' answer. cross they he put it up in those languages then. yes yeah that's and wonderful yeah we should note that sometimes when the term is translated Hebrew but mm. the language of the Hebrew is actually mm. the language that was prevalent at the time yes. which was yes. actually yes uh, the uh, Aramaic. Yes, uh, it's a sister it's language. It's now called yes, Aramaic. A sister yeah. language, True. very close. Mm -hmm. And in the synagogue, it would have been Hebrew, yeah. not Aramaic, yeah. strictly. Well, it's a sister yeah. language, but yeah. they were very Bible orientated. Right. So that's the Hebrew of the Old Testament. Yes, yes. So that's not hard at all, really. And then he begins to speak plainly. What a wonderful miracle. Yeah. Verse 35, and his ears were opened, yes. and his tongue was released, and yes. he spoke plainly. Yes. And Jesus charged yes. them to tell no one. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the more he charged them, mm -hmm. the more mm -hmm. zealously they mm -hmm. proclaimed it. And you would. Wow. You suddenly yeah. have the power of speech you didn't have. <laughs> that's right. No doctor bill either. That's See, right. nobody's Isn't charging that, you. Yeah, that's this. wonderful. It's free healing. Wow. People love that, wouldn't they? And they were astonished beyond measure, yes. saying, He yes. has done all things Seems well. So. I would think he so. even makes the deaf hear yes. and the mute speak. Yes. And the blind Isn't it lovely? Wow. You just want to stand right. up and applaud or and say, Well done, Jesus. Yes. I mean, well this, done, is, Jesus. this is fantastic. Yes. I love it. Absolutely. What God can do miracles, does. He can do what so he will. So we should pray when we're yeah. sick. We should yeah. seek the best advice, too, mm -hmm. if we're sick.
Yeah. Of course, because some doctoring isn't always yeah. very effective. Well, and we don't find them in the in the New Testament. Even Jesus no. saying, "Don't attend doctors. No. Don't go there." No. That uh, need a physician. And, uh, that's some a, need a physician. Yeah, right. sure. So yeah, and in fact, there's a very cynical comment there. We in the earlier part of Mark, this lady had spent all her money on doctors, was getting worse. Mm. So there's a little caution well, against accepting yeah, yeah. every form of that's medicine. Ro- that's exactly right. So if you're sick, I think you pray to God. You can also speak to Jesus, John 14 and 14. If you ask me, Jesus, anything in my name, I will do it. Mm -hmm. You can speak to Jesus. They did then. Are you going to tell me, I said to people, you could talk to Jesus and beg him to do things while he was on earth, but now you can't? No, you can speak to Jesus. You can call upon the name of the Lord Jesus in 1 Corinthians 1. And you can thank Jesus for putting you into ministry. That's what Paul did. That's a form of prayer to Jesus. I grant that most prayer is through Jesus to the Father. Sure. But John 14, 14 is still there. If you ask me, Jesus, anything in my name, I'll do it. I, Jesus will do it. So relax a little bit. Yeah. Don't be so finicky, you know. It's okay. (laughs) Enjoy. Kind of thing. (laughs) Not a problem. I like that final phrase there. He's done everything well. He makes the deaf... Here, Isn't that nice? and the dumb to speak. That's oh, quite a guy. I'd like I to like know that. this person face to face. Absolutely. Watching wow. these miracles.